Hi, I'm Pappy. Work here at Jay Holland Company in Dallas, Texas, and I'm a tattoo artist. It's a job I really look forward to coming and doing every day. Ever since I was young, I've drawn or doodled or um, tried to create as much art or copy as much art as I could some, by some of my favorite artists. And then when I started getting out in the world and seeing people with tattoos, and that would be you know in the late 80s, early 90s, um, I started designing tattoos for friends. So one of the hardest things for me to learn was um, being comfortable learning, being comfortable with my, some of my mistakes. Um, I, I take this job very seriously and I, I, I'm not one to just overlook the, you know, the permanence of the tattoo. When you realize you're marking someone forever and you see a wobble in your line or that some of the shading isn't perfect or even if you chewed somebody up in some of my earlier tattoos, that used to sit really heavily with me. My first tattoo was a very 90s, it was drawn, I drew it myself. It's a, I guess it was a custom drawing, but it's based on every 90s kind of sun with a face in it, you know? Like I give it that like angry raisin bran sun, you know, so all the rays of the sun were solid black, almost tribal, and then the face itself, you know, had this sort of, you know, 90s style, just cartoony sort of face. And uh, my ex-wife at the time got a matching moon. So for decades, I walked around with this tattoo that matched my ex-wife's tattoo. I like to think that my style is probably most similar to, or the, the people that I think my style is most similar to would be like Sailor Jerry, Mike Malone, um, Greg Irons. It's sort of the 60s into the 70s, like 50s into the, into the 70s maybe style. So it's got a little bit more stylistic, like dynamic look. Um, than some of the earlier stuff from the 20s and 30s, but uh, it definitely has bold outlines, black shading, um, you know, collage style sleeves where you get multiple pieces instead of one large tattoo from wrist to, to shoulder or, or back piece. I like doing tattoos um, that I know have like made a real difference for somebody. So whether it be something as simple as a cancer ribbon or, you know, like a small tattoo that helps them help symbolize something they got over or it's still struggling with, um, something that makes people feel really good about themselves. If you want to be a tattoo artist, um, the short answer is don't. There's enough of us already. <laughs> if you're really wanting to become a tattoo artist and there's nothing I'm going to say that's going to deter you, then get an apprenticeship. Um, get tattooed a lot by people you respect, by people whose art you enjoy, um, by people whose tattoos you want to wear. Um, and eventually, you will find out if that's somebody that is willing to teach you. Talk to your friends, find a good shop, make sure it's clean. If, if you feel any, at all weird about the shop, leave. Um, now when it comes to what should you get for your first tattoo or any tattoo, of course I'm gonna tell you get you know traditional, American traditional, but um, I would say the trendier the tattoo, meaning if you find it on Pinterest or you've seen it you know, countless times, like infinity symbols or little feathers and blackbirds, I'm not saying you have to be completely unique, but you're going, if you, if you pick your tattoo off of a website like Pinterest, you're going to see it on somebody else. You're, you know, and in, if it's a historically important design, like if it's an eagle that you found in a book from 1947, if you find someone else with that design, then you're both just really cool. Um, but very rarely do you want to have the same exact tattoo as the person checking out your groceries at Whole Foods and you both have matching tattoos and, um, it's not, it can lose its meaning really fast if you see somebody else has the same tattoo. If you have any doubt about what you should get, get a f eagle. They're always a good choice.